To install Grasshopper, you need to go to the Grasshopper website where you can download Grasshopper for free if you register yourself using your email address. The file you can download is a rather small file with an RHI extension. And that's an extension for uh, Rhino um, plugins or add-ons. Grasshopper installation is fairly straightforward. Once you download the Grasshopper RHI file, which is an uh, installable package for Rhino, you can simply drag it on top of the Rhino interface and the package installer is uh, launched. Uh, we say anyone who uses a computer, so we need an administrative password, but then it's available from all accounts. Uh, we want to accept the installation. Um, takes a few seconds. And then you can... What you actually should do at that point is restart Rhino to ensure that the command is properly made available. So we close Rhino, we start it again. Um, and then, okay, we just start an empty project. And from this moment on, if you type grasshopper, it should be available as a command. First time you would get an end user license agreement, which you have to accept. But from that moment on, grasshopper will launch in a separate window, but connected to the running instance of Rhinoceros. Remember, this is only available on Windows. And at this point in time, Grasshopper is only updated for the last release of Rhino, which is Rhino Rosteros 5. And at the same time, it is best to be at the latest service release to ensure that the two programs are fully compatible. This gives you a brief overview of the installation of Grasshopper. From the next lecture on, we are ready to start making parametric designs.